So there's a storm coming. Actually, there's a hurricane on its way, but before the hurricane gets here, we're going to have a little bit of a storm. So we just took some precautions out here in the yard to secure everything, but I wanted to take a video of the garden before it gets, um, hopefully it doesn't, but I uh, just wanted to take a video of everything in case it gets damaged by the storm. Here's my sunflowers that I'm growing here to try to create a natural um, screen or, uh, you know, just a barrier between us and the neighbors. Oh, there's the thunder. Here's a new area I just opened up um, and finished off. Some perennials around in the flower bed there. And inside is planted some lettuce, spinach, some peas some bunching onions over there, radishes. Here's my four o'clock flowers. They're starting to open. Um, they usually open around eight o'clock. And here's the tomatoes. I just secured them with some, uh, some trees that I found in the yard. I mean, in the, in, the, in the woods. So I tried to get the tomatoes all up and secured. There's some Cherokee purples down there. And back there is some black crims. Back there is some of my brandy wines. Here's my Cherokee Trail of Tears tribute with some morning glories. Edamame down there. Thai basil, regular basil. Scarlet sage. Pineapple sage, it's called. But it should get red flowers. And there's black eyed peas over there. Some purple peppers. Dill. And this is a very large Mexican sunflower. Can't wait for that to bloom, and I really hope that it's going to be okay. banana peppers. My jalapenos are back here. And Amish paste tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes, green peppers, some hollyhock, catnip, strawberries. Here's the strawberry patch. And my zinnias are over there. Some eggplant. Black Beauty eggplant and some Chinese and Japanese, I think they're Japanese, eggplants. Green zebra tomatoes over there. That's a green zebra. There's my, ooh, that sounds, that sounds nasty. That is my uh, summer squash, yellow zucchini. And that I just put in there. That's a autumn olive. I I cut that down from the woods. And that is a mammoth sunflower. And you can see the uh, Mexican torch sunflower right there. And this is a sunflower. Another mammoth. There's another mammoth. And I'm worried about them. I hope they're going to be okay in the storm. But we'll come and look at this. This is beautiful. Look at that, isn't that a beauty? And there's another one. So this is another sunflower garden that I planted. There's a beauty right there. Oh, look at that sky over there. Yes, so, and then we also have some more sunflowers over here. And this is the medicine garden and the kitchen herbs. Squirrels are having a good time with the sunflowers. Um, some lemon thyme. And that is 
St. John's wort right there. That's called Fever Few. And lemon catnip. We've got wild bergamot or bee balm. I just cut that back because it got too big. And there's some rosemary and I just cut that lemongrass back. There's some beautiful oregano with some really nice leaves on there. Over there we have stevia and a bunch of mint. And this is a morning glory with some valerian. And I will harvest that root next year. And this is yarrow. It's also medicinal. Here's some Roman chamomile. It grows a little bit differently than German chamomile. And I got a blue aster here. This is my echinacea garden. That should be ready by next year. Here's another beautiful sunflower. It is as tall as the house. I can show you. The blueberry bushes will be moved next year because they did not do well here. They didn't get enough sun. Same thing with the raspberry bushes in the back. I need to cut them back. They didn't get enough sun. So there is the sunflower that is as tall as the house. I hope that's going to be okay in the storm. Back there, I have some zinnias that came back from last year. Over here, we have a rhododendron. This was my original flower bed that I dug out the second year we were here. And uh, over here, I have a wild patch growing just to see what kind of medicinal herbs were growing here naturally. And I found quite a few things here, like this. Is something called, um, oh now I forget, now I forget, now I forget. Bone set, that's what it's called, bone set. 